Well, hi, my name is Chad Husky. I have a child at the high school and a child at Colony Oak. I've been actively involved in the school district for the last 11 years, serving on multiple councils and stuff. One of the areas that I'm involved in is helping at the recycling center during the months where the schools are in charge of them. You can take your cardboard down there. There's a bin for styrofoam. There's a bin for newspaper. There's a bin for cans, bottles. And one of the nice things they have is there's an e-waste center. You can take your items down there and just drop them off right next to the building that says e-waste and the kids will put them in where they need to go so those can be recycled. So one of the things that is really nice about the recycling center is the entire community benefits. It takes all the recyclable materials out of the landfills. Uh, it's good for the community. It's, it's really good for the kids. They get the, a sense of giving back, helping out their communities, um, doing what's, what's right, if you will. Uh, it's always fun working down there. There's always enthusiastic kids and parents coming to help. Uh, the really good thing about it is, along with the environmental piece of it and, and helping get stuff out of the landfills, is all of that money that is recycled goes back to the schools. Um, every quarter a check is sent to the district and then they split the check by all the schools that work and that money goes directly to the PFCs. On average, that is about um, $8,000 a year. It fluctuates between like $1,500 to $2,200, $2,300 a quarter for each school. So from a financial standpoint, it's really helpful that the PFCs get that money so they can help each school do what it is that the, the teachers need help with. Uh, one of the things that could be improved down there would be would be very beneficial to the people that are working it would be if the community would pay attention to the signs that are down there. A lot of times in the recycling cardboard area, we find huge amounts of plastic. We find um, metal. Um, last time we worked it, we found big boxes full of rotten lettuce. Um, and while you're dumping it there, just keep in mind somebody has to clean that up because if we put too much of the wrong material in a container, it will affect the price that the schools get, and that's taking money right out of the, the educational system. As regards to the recycling center here in Ripon, uh, the money goes toward the local school children. Um, so we feel strongly that uh, people that are committing thefts at the recycling center, that that should be addressed. Um, it's not constantly monitored, but it is monitored by the citywide cam mesh camera system. Uh, and if dispatch typically sees something that looks awry, something that looks like it could be a crime, then our officers are dispatched to check it out. Uh, we have made a number of arrests over the years at the recycling center. There are large signs posted on the dumpsters that tell people, don't take anything there, it is theft. Uh, and a number of the people we've contacted said, well, we saw the signs, but we took it anyway. Um, every once in a while, it's someone who, if we feel legitimately they did not know, uh, then we will still write a report, we forward it to the district attorney's office, uh, but the vast majority of the people we contact who are stealing from the recycling center, we do fully prosecute. I want to send a big thank you out to everybody in Ripon, um, the city for partnering with the districts on this. Uh, it's, it's a big win for everybody, so keep doing what you're doing. Um, we, we really, really appreciate all the, all the effort that goes into it.